Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Leonette and today I am bringing you three beautiful home decor farmhouse style using scrap wood and power tools. All right, so these two pieces of scrap wood came off of a frame from a house that we were flipping several months ago. And um, yeah, I'm gonna use them. So I'm gonna remove everything from them. The um, hardware there as well as that piece of um, framing that is in the front of that one. Met him on a sunny day in late July and everything turned upside down. I almost lost track of time as weeks went by. I couldn't get him off. Although they are both the same width, they are not the same length. So right now what I'm doing, I'm just figuring out how I need to make cuts. Now the shorter one, it's not straight straight, so it's at an angle. So I'm just gonna mark it here using my square, making sure that I have it nicely, nicely straight. And then I am going to cut them, making sure that they're both the same length. And I used my miter saw. I'm sorry I don't have that footage. My camera stopped filming as I was filming the cuts. But nonetheless, um, that is, um, anyways, how I cut them. <laughs> I'm gonna give them both two coats of Rust-Oleum chalk paint in the linen white. While the wood dries, I am now going to take these two mason jars and I am going to also take this Dollar Tree chains. These are those that you use for hanging baskets. I am going to remove all the chains and separate them. And um, I'm also going to use some zip ties from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to use two of them on each mason jar. This is to create kind of like a band around the top of each jar. So I'm just going to join them together zip them up but not tightly at first i'm going to leave them kind of loose at first because i want to be able to thread um or link no thread yes <laughs> a couple of the links on each side of the mason jar now i am going to just make sure i remove that clip because i'm not going to need them and i'm just kind of eye out and measure how long i want the chains to be i'm going to then use some pliers to separate some of the links just so that I can remove them. I'm also going to use the pliers to um, just separate the links so that I can then add them or thread them onto these zip ties. Ever since I got a good look in his eyes, I just knew that he was special. He said he wanted to take it slow, but I couldn't help that I wanted to take it to the next level because I wanted that great love like standing in the middle. and now that i have them threaded and nicely tightened i am going to cut the excess off of the zip ties and i'm going to do the same thing on the other mason jar all right so now i'm going to take my palm sander and a 220 grit sandpaper and I'm going to heavily distress each board focusing on the edges. Mm -hmm. 
I am now going to use a couple of these hooks that I get on Amazon. I get them all the time and I always have them on hand because they're so versatile and they're very inexpensive. I am going to just kind of measure out where I need to screw them in. And I got really lucky and look how close that is to the edge, but it worked out perfect. Now, if it would have been a lot longer, I would have just removed some links from the chain and just made it smaller. I'm gonna screw them in using some screws and I'll do the same thing on the other board as well. I should have added the claw hooks before I added the hooks, but I didn't. So I'm doing it now. I'll add one on each one. And now I'm going to add this grassy florals that I get on Amazon as well. And I think these turned out super adorable and so, so inexpensive. The mason jars were thrifted and look how beautiful it looks. All right, guys, so I want to tell you about my friend Barbara from Country Lily DIY Decor. Her and I are collaborating on this fun video today. We're both going to bring you adorable home decor using scrap wood and power tools. I am going to have her or her channel linked down in the description box. So make sure you pay her a visit, watch her video and show her some love and tell her that I sent you. All right, so for this next DIY, I'm going to use this piece of scrap board. I have no idea what the measurements are. <laughs> it was already this size. I found it in my garage. So I'm just gonna sand it down smooth and give it two coats of Rust-Oleum chalk band in the linen white. Something's off the way you look and how you pause when you talk. I think you said enough. You... This wouldn't welcome I got at the Target dollar spot for three dollars, and I love how thick it is and how just just good quality it is. I'm gonna give it one coat of this flat black from Rustoleum and let it fully dry. I am going to attach it to the board using hot glue and I'm going to place it kind of towards the top and a little bit tilted. And now I'm going to use this farmhouse style coat hook i love them i also keep them on hand i have them on my amazon store a lot of these supplies guys and tools that i am using today i do have on my amazon store which is linked down below if you're interested in checking them out so i'm just going to attach them using some screws and then of course um i did have <laughs> oh i gotta laugh at myself this screw was giving me a hard time <laughs> But anyways, here we are attempting to screw it in. And guess what? I also forgot to add the claw hooks before <laughs> I added the hook. Oh, Lord, help me. So anyways, I added a couple of claw hooks and we'll be done with this one. Let's 
be honest for a second yeah you'll be in over your head babe cause there is no one other than me that can make you feel Friends, don't forget that I am going to be sending monthly printables of different designs that I use throughout my videos. It'll be sent the last Saturday of every month. So if you want to join my email list, the link to join is down in the description box. After you watch this video, just check it out. All you got to do is click on the link, add your email address, and that's it. You'll be notified when I send them. I am also go going to do a giveaway every month this year. And for this month, I am giving away a Sure Bonder Cordless Hot Glue Gun. All you have to do is watch and comment to enter. And to be entered for the Hot Glue Gun this month, only comments made in January 2021 will be entered for the giveaway. All right, friends. So for this next DIY, I am going to use this piece of scrap board. As you can tell, we used it to write down some measurements. <laughs> I'm going to sand it down and give it a couple coats of Rust-Oleum chalk paint. I'm also going to use this tomato planter hanging thingy from the Dollar Tree. I'm only going to use two of the rings, the small one and the medium one. So like I said, I'm just gonna sand down the board and then give it two coats of the Rust-Oleum chalk paint and the linen white. So being that this is a dollar, I think it's a great deal because it has the three rings and it has three of those stakes that I think would be really cool to use for another DIY. So I'm going to keep everything that I do not use today for future DIYs. I'm just going to use my wire cutters to carefully remove each ring. It's not hard to cut. It's just plastic, but I just want to make sure I don't cut the rings in mistake. And then I'm going to take them out to my garage and spray them with a metallic gold spray paint takes time to get it right sleepless days and nights we just need a little more just a little time for you and i so stay a bit longer just a little time for you and i until once everything was dry, actually the rings were a little tacky, so I wish I would have let them dry, but you know, I get impatient. <laughs> I'm going to take the larger one, and as you can see there, I'm going to kind of squish it a bit, and I'm going to place it inside the smaller one. That way it'll kind of hold. So I made the mistake of hot gluing the base, as you can see here, before I did the next step, which you'll see here in a minute. So I ended up having to remove it anyways and then hot glue it again because I wanted to add a little bit of jute twine to each um, side where each of the ring connect. It'll keep it sturdy and I think it just adds a little bit of a rustic to the glam that is already on the rings and I just like the way it looks. So I did that and then or I did that on both sides and then I hot glue them to the base for the second time. all right to finish it off i added this little um, jar candle from the dollar tree i think that the top the lid matches perfectly the rings and then i added some boxwood to finish it off gave it a super cute farmhouse glam kind of look i love this the way it turned out but i think my favorite is the first one with the mason jars but let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite and kind of why why is it your favorite 
this is it for today guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it inspires you to create your own diys and hopefully maybe inspire you to use some power tools if you're visiting for the first time i'm so glad you're visiting i hope you consider subscribing and joining our youtube family and if you are returning thank you so much for coming back guys don't forget to visit my friend barbara her channel is linked down in the description box and i have a link here with tons more of inspiration for you if you want to watch i'll see you later have a blessed day bye